Okay, welcome back to part two of my series on how the early calculators did the transcendental functions, especially logarithms, and uh, at the end I'll show exponential functions. Uh, part two of this video is going to be on the error analysis for the algorithm. Uh, there's no use in having a numerical algorithm without being able to understand its error. Um, so I'm going to focus just on the theoretical error of the algorithm, not the error introduced by uh, machine precision. So we're going to ignore that. Um, Usually calculators uh, use two or three guard digits, uh, which they never show you, um, in order to control that uh, machine error. Um, okay, so let's focus just on the theoretical error. So in the previous video, I did this approximation of natural log of 13.42 um, as 3 times ln 2 plus 5 times ln 1.1, 4 times ln 1.01, and so on. Uh, and so I went out here until I got to 9 times ln 1.0001. So you can think of this as ln x um, is being made into a series. We have a series expansion here. Um, it's not exactly a power series or a Taylor series. Um, one reason the, those calculator uh, engineers didn't implement Taylor series is because a hardware multiplier would have been useful <laughs> in order to do that. And so Really, uh, my calculus students often think, you know, why don't they just use a, a Taylor expansion or something? I mean, the real reason is that it's hard to do without a hardware multiplier. Um, okay, anyway. So, in general, we have something like this. We have constant uh, times natural log 2, constant times natural log 1.1, constant times natural log 1.01, and so on. Um, these constants, uh, as we said, are in the hardware. Uh, and these coefficients are determined. Um, so let's think of it this way. So if I stop at um, the second decimal place here, it's the first three terms, I'll call that S2, and then I'll call the remaining ser the remaining terms of the series uh, the error, or E2. Or in general, ln x is split into SK plus EK, where SK is the first K plus 1 terms, and EK is the, the remaining series. What we want to do is put a bound on EK. We want to explain how big EK can possibly be. Um, let's see, in, in our example, we, we use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, so this would be S4. So let's look at S4 and E4. I claimed in the last video that the error was uh, less or equal, should be 0.0001. Let's see if we can prove that. Um, Okay, so let's look at what E4 would look like. Let's look at E4. So E4, it's going to pick up uh, with A5 and natural log 1.000, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Okay, then it's going to be A6, natural log 1.000, O, O, 1, A, 7, natural log, 1.0, O, 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 1, lots of 1s, um, and so on. I want to try to put a bound on this series. I'm going to, I'm going to ignore convergence. So this series converges to the correct, uh, this series converges to the correct thing. Um, I'm going to leave that to you to prove. Uh, so we'll, we'll, Skip the argument of convergence. There needs to be something for you. Uh, let's just try to bound the error. Um, the first thing is that each of these a coefficients um, is at most a 9. Um, you can see that through division. Um, I'll leave that to you. Uh, so let's say those are at least a 9. So this is a 9. I'm going to also factor since this is a convergent uh, series. So each of those is at least a 9. And this is ln 1.0001 plus ln 1.0. Okay, so that's the first thing. Each coefficient is at most a 9, uh, so series is bounded by the series where each of them is a 9. Okay. Uh, the second trick is what to do with each of these terms. And the idea is that each of those 
I'll write it and then we'll explain why. This is less or equal to uh, 0.00001, this one 0.00001, this one 0.00001, and so on. Okay, in other words, I've just dropped the one. Uh, what's going on there is a common approximation for the natural log. So a common approximation for the natural log near 1, let's draw the natural log function here. Natural log function looks like this. An approximation for that function near 1 from calculus 1 is this line, the tangent. So here's natural log x. This is line x minus 1, so I just subtract the 1. Okay, but you can see from my picture here that that approximation is always an over approximation except actually at 1. Okay, so this is an over approximation in every case, uh, so this is less or equal what I got at the previous step. Now, what I have at this step is exactly equal to um, 9 times 0 .00001111 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. Uh, why is that? Well, this is really a geometric series, and if you sum it, you get this. Okay. Uh, that's the real story here. This is a convergent geometric series. Um, but you can imagine you're just uh, doing an infinite addition there, whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, and then this is the same as 0 .00099999. Okay. Which is, of course, uh, just 0 .0001. Okay. Uh, which is what we wanted to prove. Now, notice here, this is actually equal to this, which is equal to this, which is equal to this. Um, but what I've shown here from beginning to end is that E4 is less or equal 0 0.0001. In general, you can show, I'm not going to do it, but you could try it at home. Uh, you can show EK is less or equal 10 to the minus k. Okay, this is your error bound, which tells you what the error is um, when you stop at sk for your approximation. Okay, awesome. So if I want the the next place to be more accurate, um, I simply compute another one, and then this is within uh, one. If I want more, this is within one. So you can see in general the algorithm computes about one decimal place per iteration this algorithm. Um, so you just need to do, for eight decimal places, uh, eight iterations about um, in order to do that. Now, another thing I'm going to note is that if you want to compute the base 10 logarithm, all you need to do is replace all of these constants with their base 10 version. So base 10 log of 2, base 10 log of 1.1, base 10 log of 1.01, and so on. Okay. If you do that, uh, we know that each of those is essentially just divided by natural log of 10, which is about 2.3. Okay, uh, so if you do this for base 10 log, uh, you'll get ek less or equal 10 to the minus k divided by natural log 10. Okay, um, and natural log 10 is about 2.3, so this is less or equal um, 5 times 10 to the minus k minus 1, um, which is often how you want to bound your error. Okay, So for base 10, it's very nice. Um, the error is actually less um, than for uh, natural log. That's because the base 10 log is smaller. Okay, uh, so stay tuned for video 3 where I'll do another example. And hope you're enjoying these.